From time to time, as an instructor, in order to improve the course quality, you may be interested in getting student feedback. This would be particularly good around one-third through the course, or if you did not get to it one-third through the course, maybe at the half point through the semester, and then also at the very end of the semester. E-learning has a module called Feedback that can do just that. The instructor can post an anonymous or identifiable survey at any point and then within the same course view the compiled results by the system. In order to make this simpler, there are templates already in the system that I have put together. So here is how it works. You'll need to go to the course and then turn the editing on. After you turn editing on, then you'll scroll down to wherever you are in the semester, whatever point in the semester where you want to post the feedback. So let's say we are going to go under topic 6 here and then we'll add an activity or a resource. Then we'll go and choose feedback and then we'll click on add. So far it's like adding another item in the course. Then we choose here the title of this and then you'll put in a description. This is what the student will see first. So you basically put in a quick introduction to your survey and then you'd probably also add this part of it. You can have the survey opened at certain times, like from a certain point to another, or you just leave it open with, for that specific week. So you'd just leave this area alone here. And then if you want the survey anonymous or the feedback anonymous here, then you can just choose anonymous, or if you want the usernames, choose the second option specify the additional options here. Usually you don't really want to show the analysis page and all that type of stuff if it is anonymous. However, you can choose to do that. So after the student submits the survey or the feedback, this is what they will get. It's also important that maybe you'll, you'd include something like this so that if a student has a concern that they want to discuss, that you make it clear to them that you'll not be able to get back to them because you'll not be able to identify the, their response. And then what you do is you scroll all the way to the bottom here and then click on Save and Display. At this point we need to, answer, to include the questions for the survey. So you can either click on Edit Questions and add your own questions or you can choose one of the templates and this is what I'd recommend. Go under Templates and then pick one of the templates that are already in the system. We'll probably add some more. And once you add the template, then you can customize those questions to your needs. So for example, uh, we'll choose this one, the, the distance learning course evaluation. You can use this for other times throughout the year as well. So you'll click on that, and that's going to bring all the questions that exist already in that survey. So at this point, what you can do is you click on delete the old items or append it. What this means is that if you created new questions, it's going to delete those if you chose to add the template, or you can just append the, these new items to what you had from before. So the safer one would be option number two here. So then click on save changes and you can go and customize these questions. So if you do not want certain pieces, for example, you don't want let's say this right here, you can just either choose to edit it and modify it to your liking or just delete it completely. And that's just going to delete that question. Then other items here as well, if you don't want this field here for the instructor and so on, you can just delete them or modify them as you need. So my recommendation is that you pick and utilize some of those questions and then also you can add new ones. If you want to insert your own questions to the survey or the feedback here, what you do is you go under Add Question to Activity, click on Multiple Choice, and then under Question, this is where you type in the question. And then under Multiple Choice Values, this is where you put one item per line. This would be the A, B, C, D options. And then click on Save Question. And now notice, this is how it will show up, or it will show up to the students similar to this right here. If you wanted to add an essay question, just click on Short Answer, and then click on Save Question. And the short answer will be just a short few words, basically. So you might want to, if you wanted a longer one like these, 
you'll need to choose the longer text answer. And it will show something like this. Now you can go back to overview and then you can preview it from here. Click on preview and that's how the, it'll show up for the students when they take this survey. And these are the sections that we just created. Now once the students take the survey, so basically if you return back to the course, we go back to the course here, the students will see an item very similar to this in the course. Remember we put it under topic number six. They'll see an item like that. When you go to preview the results, this is how the results are displayed. So let's say this is the survey that we posted. The system will show you that there were 26 students that submitted their responses. You'll go under the analysis tab and then the system will tabulate the results depending on what questions you asked. If you wanted to evaluate individual responses, you can click on show responses tab and then click on show responses and then you'll see each individual student's response and of course if you chose anonymous they will be anonymous responses. So this is a great tool you can use this for at the beginning of the semester midterm and you, and there is also another template here that I have as a honor code for each course and you can use that for it's very similar it's using the feedback module but the students are identified using that feature. So that's how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.